What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Power Spot Stone Journey team for Series 2. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds every day to click that big red subscribe button. We got brand new content coming along the way, so you guys do not want to miss out. Like I said, we're using a Stone Journey team, and it has the ability Power Spot. So whenever an ally Pokemon is standing next to it, it is going to get a 30% increase in damage, which is absolutely amazing. Pairing it up with the Pokemon such as Fluttermane, you can do some crazy damage and just shred through teams. But let's get started here. Top left hand corner with today's team preview. We got the one and only Iron Hands. Iron Hands, solid Paradox Pokemon all around. Can't go wrong with it with Quirk Drive and the Assault Vest as its item. It's got Wild Charge, Close Combat, Volt Switch, and Fake Out, which seems to be probably like the most used moveset besides Close uh, Combat, Switch It with Drain Punch. Probably the most used moveset on Iron Hands, so cannot go wrong with it. Rupon, it's going to be our second Pokemon. Love this Pokemon's design. Love its stubby little legs. Love its little dinosaur tail. It's got Protosynthesis and a Citrus Berry with Spore, Seed Bomb, Crunch, and Protect. Stone Turner is going to be our third Pokemon. Like I said, we're mainly using it due to its ability to power up allied Pokemon, but it's pretty decent on its own as well. It's got Focus Ash as its item. It's got Rock Slide for Stab, Low Kick for Coverage. Then it's got Wide Guard and Protect for its final two moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane. This is probably going to be our heavy hitter right here. Fluttermane is just great all around, very fast, very high in special attacking as well, with Protosynthesis and a Life Orb as item. It's got Shadow Ball, it's got Dazzling Gleam, it's got Taunt, and it has Protect. Arm Rouge is going to be our fifth Pokemon. We also have Indeedee on this team. That combo is just too broken, paired up together with these guys. This team is absolutely amazing. Arm Rouge has Flash Fire, alongside with the Cobra Cloak, so it can't be faked out. And then it's got Expanded Force, Armor Cannon, Trick Room, if we want to speed control, and Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon is going to be Indeedee, like we already mentioned. Pairs up perfectly with Arm Rouge, and it is solid on its own, considering it is a top-tier support Pokemon. It has Psychic Surge, Psychic Seeds as its item, Psychic, Follow Me, Trick Room, and Helping Hand for its moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Power Spot Stone Journer team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Don Dozo and Tatsugiri team. How are we going to play up against this one? How are we going to win this one? We'll figure something out. But they also have Fluttermane, King Gambit, Dragonite, and Iron Wall. So this team actually looks like it's going to be pretty tough. I can definitely see them leading potentially uh, King Gambit to kind of counter my Indeedy Arm Rouge combo. So maybe we want to play up against that and try to grab ourselves a win here. But I'm going to end up leading Iron Hands for a nice little lead. I do like that. And I might also end up leading... Fluttermane. I know Fluttermane's not too bad. I really do like Fluttermane here. So I am going to go Fluttermane. Then I'm also going to go Stone Journer. And I think Brute Bonnet. I kind of do like that. Or I can just go straight into Arm Rouge if I want to. Nah, I'm going to go Brute Bonnet. I do like Brute Bonnet here. Because we're going to need something to kind of counter that uh, Don Dozo. So putting it to sleep and getting after it that way could work out pretty well for us. But other than that, I don't have any way of like hazing, clear smogging, or any of that stuff. So we're going to have to figure out a way around this. I have a lot of super effective moves onto this uh, Don Dozo, though. So I kind of like the team that we have. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But as you guys can tell, my throat is just terrible right now. I don't feel sick anymore. As you guys know, I was sick like last week. But I don't feel sick anymore. It's just my throat is terrible right now. Sounds like I'm losing my voice, all that good stuff. But I feel good mentally. I feel good physically. Just the throat right now. So we're still recording for you guys, bringing you guys some more content. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. But he's going to end up leading. These two Pokemon, and I could definitely see a swap. I could definitely see a swap here. I could definitely see a swap, and I don't want to double down into... I mm, This is tough. I don't want to double down. But I'm just going to go here, and I'm just going to throw a Dazzling Gleam across the board. I think that's going to be our play. In case he wants to swap it, that's fine. I mean, we can deal with it later. Tesla might protect. I think he might swap the King Gambit into Don Dozo here. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine here. We do have Stone Journer though. Stone Journer could get some work done here. Hmm. Tasugiri ends up protecting. That's fine. We're just faking out the Gambo. And we'll go from there. The fake out comes across on the Gambo. Do I protect the Fluttermane here? And just try for the close combat KO? I feel like he's going to swap here, right? I feel like he has to swap. Could be going for a Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch could be a play. 
I'm just gonna hit this thing and I'm just gonna protect. If he swaps in Don Dozo, he swaps in Don Dozo. I'm not too worried. But I think we should be fine. But I think he's gonna go for like a sucker punch and try to get rid of my try to get rid of my floods. I wouldn't like that one bit. I'm hoping he stays and we can just get rid of King Gambit. That would be an awesome play for us. It really would. But it's always tough going up against Don Dozo because you never know when they're going to swap. You never know what's going to go on. And he's not swapping here. So this is gonna, this could be a solid turn from us. So we end up protecting. He's going to go for the Sucker Punch like we thought. And we're just going to get rid of King Gambit this turn. That's a huge turn for us. What are you going to do? He's going to go for a Muddy Water. I'm fine with that. Muddy Water comes through. Maybe it misses my, uh, my Iron Hands. That could be cool. It does. It does miss the Iron Hands. We love that so much. A close combat comes in here. We say, yo, see you later. Get on out of here. So we rip through King Gambit. I could swap it. Now that's defense is down. And get in power spot stone journey and then just start throwing gleams across the board. That wouldn't be too bad. That wouldn't be too bad. But he just sends out straight Don Dozo. The Don Dozo comes out here. And Commander is going to trigger. Do I terrestrialize here? I definitely want Iron Hands for another turn. So you know what? I am going to we go for the Volt Switch. Or do I hard swap into Stone Journer? I think we hard swap into Stone Journer here. I'm going to hard swap into Stone Journer, get our Fake Out back, and I'm going to end up terrestrializing here. And just throwing Gleams onto the board, right? Getting off as much damage as we possibly can, because at this point, we will have the Stab damage, the terrestrialization damage, the Life Orb damage boost, alongside with the Power Spot damage boost. So I'm just going to start throwing them. I'm just going to start throwing this. Let's get after it. Don Dozo, I knew it would be a problem from turn one, but we're going to try to counteract onto it and just deal a lot of damage to it. So let's get it. Stone Journer coming out here for the power spot. We are now Terrasalizing. He might also go after a Stone Journer slot, thinking it was the Iron Hand slot and his defense was down. But I could also see like an EQ coming out here. Definitely a lot of different options. Definitely a lot of different options. But some Don Dozos have uh, Dragon Terrasalization, so it could be a problem. Gleam's going to fly out here. Tatsugiri's going to dodge it, obviously. And we're going to see how much damage we can do with Power Spot on our side. That's a nice chunk. That's a nice chunk. I like that chunk. I like that chunk. As long as you don't go after. You go for Wave Crash. Can you go after Iron Hand Slot? No, you just take out my Flutter Mane. Ah, hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Definitely hurts the soul. So my Flutter Mane goes down there. We're trying to get off some damage. But I knew Don Doza would be a problem right from the get-go. Does it have Leftovers? It does have Leftovers. This thing's just getting back some HP. I could see him potentially protecting this turn. I could go into the Brute Bonnet. Put to sleep. Or should I go into Iron Hands? Hmm. What is the play here, Jeans? Iron Hands would not be bad. I don't have Terra anymore, which kind of sucks. Brute Bonnet wouldn't be bad, because then I could just spore it and just start sea bombing it. Yeah, I think that's our play. Just spore this thing. Put this thing in the night night sleep. Probably your best bet. And then just start throwing low kicks at it. Low, low kicks and sport. Let's do it. Let's put this thing to sleep. But that does is gonna protect. He's gonna get some leftovers HP. He's gonna do all that stuff. And then he's just going to wave crash my stone journal, which I do not mind if he does. Considering we have focus ash, he'll take some big recoil damage, and we can start getting after it that way. So I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Maybe I should have saved my terrestrialization, but it's all good. It's all good, because I would love to have it for my Iron Hands right now. So he knows exactly what we're doing, and we're doing the same thing. There's no reason for us not to spoil this thing and put it to sleep. But I have an odd feeling. I already know we're going to put it to sleep, and it's going to wake up in one turn, and it's just going to be a waste of my, my time. Is he going to end up terrestrializing? Is this a grass turn? It's dragon, okay. So he wants to become a dragon type for some reason. I... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I guess it's all right. Substitute's gonna come in here. Wow, it's a smart play right there. A little sub action. I like that play. Low kick's gonna come out here. Chip up some damage. <coughs> and the spore isn't gonna affect it. So that's that's a big time play. I'll give it to our opponent there. Kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Do we think another low kick takes off the sub? Cause that could happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that another low kick takes off the sub. Protecting. Oh my lord. Is this just how our opponent's gonna play? Just protect Don Dozo. Use a bunch of subs and stuff. Ah. <sighs> it's 
scheme. Do me dirty. Do me dirty. I'm hoping that this low kick could actually pick off the sub. I'm hoping that it can. But this is going to be annoying. This is definitely going to be annoying. I'm not going to like it one bit. <laughs> I'm not going to like it one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit am I going to like this. I'm going to go for another low kick. I'm going to say that it does take off the sub. You get so much HP back with the left leftovers. Ridiculous. So I do think a wave crash comes out here. I think he wants to deal as much damage as he can. So during, uh, no, I guess for an order up. Probably into, probably into my boy. My brute bonnet. Leave my brute bonnet alone. Hey, yo, that's a little bit too much damage there. Low kick, please take off the sub here. Please take off the sub. We do have our berry. We're eating up. We're getting some HP back, which is good. Go back into the green. And this thing gets a speed boost. It was already finished enough, so it didn't matter. Low kick's gonna come in here. Please take off that sub. Take off that sub. Thank you. Sub finally fades. Awesome call by us. And we are finally putting this god dang catfish whale looking thing to sleep. He's gonna get some leftovers HP. Let's just start hitting this thing. Gotta start hitting this thing. So annoying. This Pokemon's so annoying. He's gonna wake up soon, just be able to do it again. So if Mir do I drop a rock slide? Yeah, it's gonna do more damage, so we're gonna go for a rock slide here. And crunch a seat bomb. Crunch is definitely to play. Go for a nice lovely crunch here. Now those to sleep. Watch. We're only gonna get one turn to sleep. There's one. That's the first turn. Always have bad luck with this. And of course, I missed my rock slides. Oh no, Tatsugiri dodged it. I thought the Dondozo dodged it. We're good. Crunch gonna fly here. Chipping up some nice damage. I like it so far. And I have an odd feeling it's just gonna wake up here. It is definitely gonna wake up here. Go for another rock slide. Go for another crunch. Please don't wake up here. Wow, yo, two turns sleep. Feels good. <laughs> Feels so good to get that. Rock slide's gonna come through here. Please hit, that, hit up on the, to the Dondozo. Thank you. And Crunch, can he finish this off? Can you do a proof on it? Get it done. Let's go. Let's go. We finally got Dondozo off the board. We still have Power Spot Stone Journer here with its Focus Hatch, which I like. And now he's down to two Pokemon. Tasugiri and whatever his final Pokemon is. Okay. I can deal with this. Let's see who he's cooking with. Let's see who he's cooking with. It's going to be Dragonite. He doesn't have Terra anymore. Um, hmm. Rock Slide's definitely going to play. So we're going to go into a Rock Slide and... Do I Seed Bomb this thing? I'm thinking I might want to Seed Bomb this. I'm going to Seed Bomb it. That might be a choice ban Dragonite, too. Muddy Water's going to come through here. It bring down my Stone Journey to Focus Ash, which kind of sucks. And we're going to see who goes next. I'm guessing Dragonite goes next, and he's going to use an Air Move to take out my Brute Bonnet. And, of course, my Accuracy drops here as well. And I'm going to miss some Rock Slides. Tasugiri Dodger. Okay, that's cool. I can deal some damage on the Dragonite. I like that. And he's going to go next with a Dragon Call. And we do not eat that up. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I see you. I see you. Now we get to bring out you. The thing is, I know Stone Journey outspeeds the Dragonite, which is huge. We outspeed the Dragonite. So faking out the Tasugiri is going to be the play here. Faking out the Tasugiri is going to be the play. I wonder how much fake out's gonna do with power spot on. <laughs> it could do some work. It could do some work, but Stone Turner's clutching up right now. As long as this Dragonite doesn't protect, but I think it's Choice Bandit, right? It seems to be a Choice Band Pokemon. Let's see how he plays this. Fake out's gonna come through here. Are you E speeding or are you Choice Band? I think you're Choice Band, correct? Can we land this Rock Slide? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Do not do not lose me in this match. Thank you. Stone Turner's gonna be able to take out Dragonite, no problem. And this match is on wraps. It is on wraps. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So Stone Journer actually did really, really good. I'm just going to low kick because I'm tired of missing this thing with accuracy stuff. I'm just going to throw a wild charge into this slot. Just so we don't lower our defense. Muddy Water flies out here. Chipping up some nice damage on the Iron Hands. But Iron Hands going to be able to soak all day. Accuracy's down. That kind of sucks, man. My accuracy's low. Do me dirty with the accuracy. We, we land the wild charge. We bring this thing down to red, and yeah, it's game set match. It is game set match because I'm just gonna go for the higher accuracy move, which uh, they're both 100. I'm just gonna go for the close combat. Looks a bit cooler. And he's gonna go for a Draco meteor and end up missing me. Wow, what a long first match. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Close combat comes through here. We counter the, the Don Dozo team, and we grab ourselves a win here in match number one.
We're hopping into our second match. Let's grab ourselves another victory. That first match was long and drawn out, but your boy ended up coming out on top. But we're going up against a yet another strong team with Pelipper and Palafin. Rain combo right there alongside with Amoongus, Iron Hands, Arcanine, and Dragonite. Who am I playing? How am I going into this? I kind of like these two going in for a lead. I kind of like this. I kind of like these two going into a lead. Right? It just seems very powerful. So I'm going to go into them. I am going to go into... The power spot stone journer and the fluttermane combo alongside with in the back end i could go indeedy armor as back end combo that could actually help us out a lot but i think with the range it's gonna be a problem so i definitely want to bring in iron hands and i'm thinking of maybe just bringing in indeedy by itself just for a little bit of support action could be good for us it could be good for us it definitely could i mean it's super effective onto the uh, iron hands as well with the psychic but brute bonnet is still pretty solid so you know what i think brute bonnet is gonna be the call I love me brute by that. So we're going to go into the same squad, just different order here, and look to grab ourselves another win here. Because, like, even if we don't use Ndidi and Armourouge today, you guys already know how it's done. You just pretty much lead them and get after the battle that way. But <laughs> I think we're fine. I think we are going to be fine here with this matchup. Because what I'm hoping for is just to rastalize my uh, Fluttermane and just start ripping into Pokemon, right? With Power Spot, all that good stuff. I feel like we can do really, really well. So he's going to end up going into these two. That's not bad for us. That's not, that's not bad for us. I'm just going to Rock Slide. I'm just going to Terrasalize and go into a Gleam. Or do I Shadow Ball? I mean, Mage Powder might come out here. But I have double hitting moves. It's going to Spore me. I already know it's coming. I already know the Spore is coming out and about. It's going to be a problem. We might even protect Dragonite at this point. But we have a chance of flinching if we land a Rock Slide onto it. Which could be big time. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to rip with Fluttermane in this match with Stone Journer and Fluttermane. Seems like it can work well. As long as we can get rid of this Amoongus. Because Amoongus is such a problem. And he's just going to straight up withdraw the Dragonite. Which is a smart play. He's going to go into Palafin. Which is a little bit dumber. Because Palafin kind of just dies here, right? If we land our moves. Palafin is just dead. And I would love to get rid of Palafin. I would love to just get rid of that Dolphin. Don't want to deal with it at all. Especially when it's in hero form. We know how much damage that thing can really do. So we're going to Terrasalize to do as much damage as we possibly can with these Dazzling Gleams. And we're going to roll off from here. The Dazzling Gleam is going to fly. I do think Amoongus is going to spore my Fluttermane. But we're going to hope to maybe get a flinch here. And look at that damage on that Palafin. Look at that damage on the Palafin. We gave it a free Focus Ash. Rock Slide is going to come out here. Finish off the Palafin, no problem. And hopefully Amoongus gets the flinch. Come on. Help me out here. No, it spores me. Yep, so saw that coming 55,000 miles away. Fluttermane is now knocked. Night, night, Fluttermane. Took its melatonin. It's going to bed. All right. All right. Pelipper's going to come out here. Not too worried about Pelipper. Not too worried about Pelipper with the Pokemon that I have. Going to rain. We already know what else he has. And I'm just going to throw a nice lovely uh, Dazzling Gleam again. Alongside with another Rock Slide. The Fluttermane obviously going to be asleep this turn. There it is. And Stone Journey's gonna pop a rock slide. And who dodged it? Okay, Amoongus dodged it. I'd rather Amoongus dodge it than Pelipper. So we get off some crazy damage onto the Pelipper. Pelipper's gonna miss its Hydro Pump. We are just thriving here. He's gonna Palm Puff and actually do a lot of damage, low key. A lot of damage. And this match is pretty much over, right? Yep, there it is. Cancel battle. Win it in two turns. No problem. No problem. Two turns is all we need. Only two turns. That's all that I need. All that I need. There was, ladies and gentlemen. Back-to-back -back victories for you guys. And we're going up against a pretty cool team here in match number three. No Paradox Pokemon, but they have Quaquaval alongside with Oricorio. Is that how you pronounce it? Something like that. And then Arbalava, Gothitelle, uh, Altaria, which I love that Pokemon. And then Iron Moth. Actually, they have one Paradox Pokemon. Iron Moth over here. But I feel like their combo is just going to be Oricorio and like uh, Dancer. Stuff like that with Quaquaval. That could definitely be an option, but I feel like if we just lead a Pokemon like Fluttermane Stone Journal, we can pretty much just rip into this team again. So I'm really liking that. We're going to give that a try. We're going to give that a try. Going in those two, bring Stone Journal and, and Brute Bonnet. It just seems too good, right? I mean, I could bring a little bit of support here. I do like Ndidi here, and I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I do like that. So we're not going to bring the Brute Bonnet. We're going to bring Ndidi for a little bit of back-end support. But I feel like we should be fine with just Fluttermane Stone Journal. We won the last match in two turns, which was awesome. Hopefully, we can do that again. Just, just Dyn or not Dynamax. <laughs> just uh, Terrasalize. Start throwing Gleams and just rip it into the teams. That's what we're hoping. We can always hope for the best. 
always hope for the best. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. But I feel like it's got to be like a quack with all lead. I mean, he could also lead the Iron Moth. Iron Moth could be a problem for us. Could definitely be a problem for us because that just rips into my uh, Flutter Meme with the poison typing. We'll see. But I, I do think Quack Ball is going to come out here for the lead. I like that Pokemon, but I haven't really seen it too much in Series 2. I have not seen it too much in Series 2. But it's going to be Gothitelle and Altaria. Okay. Pretty cool combo here. And we're just going to go into these two. And I feel like this is just, again, a free Terrastalization Dazzling lead. <laughs> it seems free with Power Spot on here too. And then we just throw a nice little, little Rock Slide for some extra damage. It seems light. It seems light, right? It seems light. These two are insane together. Sojourner and Fluttermane. Little Stonehenge guy. I do like his design. It's just a little, just a bunch of rock blocks, right? Little Minecraft dude. Actually, uh, what's what's it called? Took over the Minecraft dude. Uh, Gargonackle looks like the Minecraft dude, because he, he's more blocky. Sojourner's just cool. Sojourner's just like a cool Stonehenge kind of Pokemon. I like him a lot. But we're going to uh, Terrastalize the Fluttermane. Get that Fairy Terra type out and about. And we'll get Steamrolling from here. So let's see what our opponent wants to do here. They got Terrastalize as well. Yep. Altaria is probably going to Terrastalize. What are you going to Terrastalize into though? That's the real question. Straight Flying. Steel. Okay, so it's a little Steel guy here. Okay. A little Steel. If it has Terra Blast, it is going to take out my Fluttermane. Uh, that's a little scary. So the Steel Terra on the Altaria. Gleam's gonna fly here, not do too much damage on the Altaria. It's gonna be not very effective, but honestly, it might chunk up some nice damage. We have a lot of boost going on here. Okay. That's, me that's, that's mediocre damage. <laughs> that's mediocre damage. But Stone Jander's gonna go next, and we're gonna really hope for a, uh... We're gonna really hope for a flinch here, because if we get a flinch here, I can just rip into Altaria with the Shadow Ball and KO it, pretty much. There's the flinch. We love it. We love the flinch. Sorry, Altaria. I apologize. Nothing's actually rather bulky. It really is. It really is. But from here, I'm just going to Shadow Ball. And where do I low kick this thing? Actually, you know what? Let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. We're going to Shadow Ball that slot, and we're just going to low kick this slot. I think I like this move a little bit more. I like this play a little bit more. But yo, that flinch was big time. That flinch was definitely big time for us. Thank you, RNG gods. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we'll see what our opponent wants to do from here because I feel like they're in a pretty tough situation after that. Kind of sucks for them that they did get the flinch. Because I'd be mad at the same time. But just think about it. If they have Terra Blast, they take out my Flutter Man. That's a huge turn for them. That would have been a huge turn for them. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do. We got two super effective moves coming in hot. I don't think we can take out Altaria. We probably can take out Gothel and that's a Sash. And it's not Sash. So see you later, Gothel. Gone. Dumped on. Get it on out of here. Gone. Low kick's gonna come next, yo. Show me a KO here, Stone Journer. Get it done. That was that was come on, Stone Journer. You're better than that. He's got Parasol. Okay, we can swap now. That's fine. I'm cool with that. So that's what, what it wanted to do last turn. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That's totally fine. So Altaria has Parasong, sets it up. I can swap my Pokemon if I want to. I can easily swap them if I want to. And Arbalava is getting higher. Okay. <laughs> okay, Arbalava come, comes out here. I could Gleam it down. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to Gleam. And I think it might set up a Leech Seed. Do I double down into it? Or I start low kicking this thing down. I'm just going to keep low kicking this thing. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep low kicking. Because honestly, a low kick and a gleam might be able to finish off the salt area. Could be pretty good. Yo, our Balva, I like its design. Olive tree, sick. I love olives, though. Always been a big fan of olives. I know some people hate them. I can eat a whole jar of them. No problem. No problem. I can do it. <laughs> but I do like where our Balva is in the game. Like, it's just on olive farms. Little small olives running around. It's hilarious. Altaria's gonna end up protecting. Oh, that's pretty smart protect. 
And we're going to end up throwing a gleam across the board. Now, how much damage are we going to do to this Arbalva? This could be some big time damage. That's some big time damage. For gleam, seed sours coming out here, though. And he might just giga drain me down. Or are you going to set up some seeds that are full of leeches? That's a possibility there, too. That is definitely a possibility. Nope, he Giga Drains me down to Focus Ash. He's gonna pretty much get back all HP, right? Pretty close to it, correct? Pretty close. He's gonna get back a lot of HP. Oh, that's a little bit too much HP. That's a little bit too much HP. And that thing's Orb, too. Wow. Orb's coming out here. Everyone's getting back some HP. Leftovers still on Altaria's gonna come out here. But I think we just get rid of Altaria, right? I could swap terrain and save Stone Journey, but I'd rather just power spot and get rid of this Altaria. That would 100% rather be my play. The power song's still out and about. I don't, I don't mind it. I can always swap. And I'm just gonna double down to Altaria, protect it last turn. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of this Pokemon. Give us a little bit of an upper hand here. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about the power song. I can always swap. It always swap. I don't care if my Stone Journey goes down. It's kind of just here for power spot. But I do care if my Fluttermane goes down. Because Fluttermane is that Pokemon. But our opponent's playing a weird game. Really cool team. I think they're trying to win with some nice little off-meta Pokemon. Ends up withdrawing Arbalva. Going to show the final Pokemon, which is Oricorio. Little cool birdie over here. And we're just going to get rid of this Altaria. I'm not, not trying to deal with it. Right? See you later. Take it out one shot, no problem. So we get rid of that. We're going to deal some damage on the Ori Corio here. My Parasong is dropping. My Parasong is dropping. So Low Kick's going to come out here. Does not affect Ori Corio over here. And I think this might be a ghost type bird, right? Might be a ghost type bird. So Parasong's going to come out. Uh, I think we just swap my Fluttermane here. Bring out Indeedee, change up the terrain, and then just go from there. Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. I don't care if Stone Journey dies. We're just going to try to pop a nice little rock slide. And I do want to see this Pokemon's typing. Are you ghost? You are ghost. You are a little ghosty. And I'll just pop a nice little rock slide. Nice little rock slide. So we're down to a 4v2. Pretty much a 3v2. Considering Stone Journey is going to die here. But I'm going to dip back my Fluttermane. I would love to have it for later usage. It's just such a good Pokemon. And we're going to throw out the lovely little Indeedee. So my support comes out here. And we also change up terrain, which is huge. So they don't have that grass terrain anymore. And I get my Psychic Seeds, which we love. Special Defense Boost coming at you. We seem to be chilling here. We seem to have a, a nice, lovely, perfect record coming at you, guys. The Surge Earner is going to dodge that Icing Wing. That's actually rather big. So you might not double down into my Stone Earner. Rock Slide comes out here, and oh, we almost get rid of the Ori Corio. Yeah, it's Focus Ash. So Focus Ash pops out here. We chilling. Seed Sour coming back out, and he's changing up terrain again. Hate, hate the terrain, man. Giga Drain's flying here. Doing some nice damage. Doing some nice damage. But once my, uh, once my, uh, Iron Hands comes out here, it's pretty much game set match. So I can follow me this shot. And just rock slide again. Actually, uh, Stone Journey died to, <laughs> to the what's it called? To the Paris song. But I bring out Fluttermane here. We have speed all day. I feel like we just dazzle and gleam, right? We just have to dazzle and gleam. And we can just psychic this if we want to. So I'm just gonna psychic. I'm just gonna dazzle and gleam across the board. It's game set match. It is game set match. Actually, or Korea might have Shadow Sneak, but we fine. There goes Gleam, Oricorio dead, Arbalva taking a huge chunk of damage. It's going to go next, it is going to get some HP back with Giga Drain, but... But we're fine, but we're fine. I'll KO it next turn. Actually, we outspeed it, never mind, that's GG's. Game, set, match, Psychic comes out here, takes down Arbalva, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0, that might have been the easiest 3-0 perfect record I had recording this game. 
absolute domination from your boy for today's video. Ended up going 3 0 without even using the Indeedee and Armourish combo. I'm telling you guys, this Power Spot Stone Jenner team is top tier. The season ends rather soon, so if you guys want to push high tiers, rent this team and pretty much just either lead Armourish and Indeedee or Stone Jenner and Fluttermane and just rip through your opponent's team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.